thank Ian for his uh, assistance today. Well, Margaret, Michael, I want to pay tribute to Michael because when Michael gets his bit between his teeth on any historical issue, he just continues and continues until eventually you see the product and we see that here today. And I want to pay a special tribute to him because I've known him, as he said, since 1998, when we were, before that, when we were involved in the 1798 uh, bicentenary uh, celebrations. And at that stage as well, Michael had key projects which he wanted to pursue, and he pursued them, and he pursued them until they were brought to fruition. And I, I, I think uh, in Michael, in the next couple of years, in Chicor, we'll see many other projects such as this, and the, and the group uh, that, that is Cantor Mining will see uh, other projects. For instance, the gymnasium in Richmond and Barracks, which was mentioned there uh, by a Eamon O'Quaid. That needs not only to be preserved, but to be functional. It is not good enough to have uh, buildings preserved and nobody knows what they are. So hopefully in the next couple of years, that will be a project uh, that will bear fruition. I know Michael has already uh, started some of the ball rolling in that. I don't have a huge amount to say uh, in, in relation to this because I know people are tired and, uh, uh, and, and getting cold. But one of the key lessons is if we forget the lessons of history, we are condemned to repeating them. And that goes whether it's recent history or past history. And I think events like this bring the history forward again. And as somebody else said earlier on, when people are passing, they will stop and say, what's that about? That's the first lesson. Then we need to inform them, and I think the, the plaque does a lot of that. But we need also provide on every single occasion, whether it's a local literature, kind of local events, to give the background, the reason why this hall was here, the solidarity and the intertwining between the various different groups in, in Ireland at the time, whether it was a cultural revolution, Conor na Gaeilge, the events that were happening here in the halls uh, to do with our, our, the Irish language and Irish culture, the trade union movement, and all of the events here, the fact that others have mentioned that this was one of the places where uh, children and families of those who are locked out were coming to get fed, the solidarity that that built up within the community, and then also the other big revolutionary movement at the time, the Republican Nationalist Movement, which came out in 1916, uh, and the events, and how this building here was tied much to, that, to, to the events of uh, that, that week. We, 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 we have heard of Michael Mallon uh, 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 and his connection here, the shop he had, uh, and kind of how on, on his way here to Richmond Barracks after, after being put under arrest with all of the other uh, re revolutionaries on that, that, that week. He was marched to Richmond Barracks along this road and how the crowds who knew him from, from this shop came out to greet him in silence. They weren't attacking them, they weren't turning their back on them. They were there to cheer them on without cheering because they didn't want to be the target of the British force at the time. When he was brought from the barracks, he passed this house on his way up to Kilmainham Jail. And he, he writes in, in, in one of his last letters how he passed the house and he could see no one but his faithful dog. And it'd be a nice, I think, if, if, if we remember that, Kind of, you know, it, it's a human touch. Everybody who passed through this house were humans. They had human feelings and they had human emotions. And in everything we do, we need to remember that. The dog, uh, Preneen, I think, is what, what was the name. And I think that might be appropriate for something in the future here, to remember just that little part of humanity that comes across in, in, in some of the writing. So I leave it at that. And ho ho hopefully uh, we will have other events such as this. And maybe the next time we'll have them on the other side of the road so we get some of the sunshine. <laughs>